Um, you can call me Ewi. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. And goes so much. Like, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, like, you guys, Alia, Atika, Pedrine, yay, yay, Erin. You guys really put so much pressure on me to get that vlog out and the love you showed. I don't know if it's just because you wanted it out, but you seem to actually really, really enjoy it. And like, guys, I really appreciate all the feedback, all the comments, all the likes, all the views. I think it actually had my most views ever within like the first hour, second hour. 12 hours you guys really like showed you a lot of love and i really really appreciate it because you know um especially like Archie, she's been saying like uh, your energy is down what's going on what's going on what's going on and you know i didn't realize it but actually it was it was sitting me here i felt so bad i was like you know what? i was doing this for myself you know you want to do something for yourself then you're not doing it it's worse than betraying someone else who like exp like it's worse than laying down someone else's expectations because it's breaking a promise to you as yourself and you know there's nothing if you can't even keep your word to yourself then i feel like subconsciously yeah would like, like eats you like as a person so that's i think that was that's what was happening and now that the vlog is up and you guys really enjoyed it ugh, shout out to every single one of you i want to be a lot more consistent i mean i have posted 29 videos in seven months so please rest <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding let's not choose violence today but today is going to be a day in the life um of a dietetic student i just thought i should treat you guys because you guys really have treated me and i feel so special um really appreciate every every single one of you guys who watch like comment share and subscribe guys i actually got like one extra subscriber and i was thinking about 34 subscribers isn't that wild thank you so much guys um other than that what else do you want to say guys it is so dark outside okay it wasn't now now i look like a liar because there's like a bit of a blue name but let me tell you it was richard ramirez dark like night stalker dark if you don't watch true crime you don't know who that is but it he was, he was a serial killer um he killed people at night basically i actually fun fact about me i do really enjoy shoe cam um It's not like I enjoy the true crime because I know that people died obviously for the true crime to be there or they were hurt in really really like um horrible ways and I don't enjoy that aspect. What I enjoy is understanding the mind versus the nature versus nurture situation. Like you can be from an environment like mine where you've had traumatic things happen to you, even in your life, your there are things that your body like like as we learn in MBS, like you know, like your your mind, your your body will recognize that as trauma. And what is trauma to me is not going to be what is trauma to you. And what seems trivial to me might be very, very important to you. Like, as if I, we're not the same. We don't, you can't, like, write everyone with the same brush, right? So, with that same concept in mind, when you come to, like, true crime, I just think, like, okay, cool. There's, there's nature versus nurture. Nature is, like, who you are. Just like Jay, as you, um, as, as you are as being, like, scientifically, your makeup. That's what I understand of it. Then nurture is, like... Um, the people who take care of you, the people who nurture you in the first thousand days, like how, how nutrition is so important in the first thousand days because in a baby's life that forms um, their nutritional status, like it has a big foundation for the rest of their life onwards, right? It's the same, like the nurture of a parent or lack thereof, that really does have such a huge influence on the person that they become. And you know, you find that most serial killers actually either like their parents abuse them, their parents abandon them, and there's these issues of abandonment, issues of low self-esteem not being enough that one thing that yearning for control because you just didn't have control of whether or not you got to be loved as a child and that is such an interesting thing to go at but then you get like others where like you know i think that person is born evil because you come from a silver spoon in your mouth kind of family but then you go around and turn around and kill people or you come from a really normal family you get married and then meet child guys happy family kids everything looks good like picture perfect mm -hmm, mm -hmm, kind of family right but then you go around and you murder your wife in her sleep because she cheated on you like guys when does it like when does it like when does that exhalation happen and you know there's like apparently like you know there's a timeline for serial killers right they like usually do it like between their like early like 18 going on to in between 30s until the end of their life but then there are some who actually started old 30 so in you can never know you can actually be in the bus or share with someone who's a serial killer in their cool down period cool down period is when like the, the period of time in between each kill that a serial killer will like kill obviously you don't have to be a serial killer you know there are other people that just kill but you're not supposed to kill either way it's a kiss hey, which, which kind of one is it I think it's a single commandment. I don't know. <laughs> the Bible is like a commandment. <laughs> what a dog way to start today. But yeah, that that is just my vent on serial killers. I don't enjoy true crime. I, I think, I don't know, how do I explain it? I sound, this sounds so weird, but I don't, I enjoy watching, listening to true crime. Like I said, I really enjoy psychoanalyzing it. I will never say I like true crime because 
you can't like the heartbreak of families of the victim's family like even like you just being like maybe your sister like god forbid touch wood maybe my sister or my or like brother they become serial killer as that that you know how traumatic that is to me good to be could have grown up in the same household and then you woke, wake up and have an axe in someone's throat and i don't like or even me maybe one day i become a serial killer how that would affect my family and like you know like oh we used to sleep in the same house as her but now she's going off and hacking people's heads off and then like chilling and being a tactician on the side you know like it's so crazy this world we live in and i think everyone should just take a moment to pray and just ask for guidance in their own lives if you don't believe in god i don't know what you believe in whatever you believe in believe in that and if you just believe good to you are the girl and you just do things on your own terms that's also fine do what you need to do but just guys be be careful and you know just i don't know trust your gut because your gut has you remember your gut remembers your traumatic experiences it's always that that's that butterfly antsy feeling that you get sometimes it's like it's a um, it's a familiar response like you know because you're familiar to this situation your body doesn't like the situation then you get the response so always trust your gut this is now five minutes in this is exactly yeah okay last vlog i spent the whole vlog <laughs> complaining about how, edit, how much editing i was gonna do i'll not do that this vlog but like girl stop talking okay love you guys see you soon <laughs> Why now? Try the try the eyes. What's wrong with the eyes? Actually, not that bad. Like it's for a tree. Like, is it artificial? It's artificial, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably artificial. I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once. Yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just wanna be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days I'm not late, that's why I'm totally vlogging because I'm not late. Walking was so fast. I can't walk that side. Oh, I have to walk on the grass. Ew. It's giving. My shoes are going to get dirty so fast. Oh, there it is. They're turning spooky. I'm so late, man. I can't even announce yet. I'm late. You're gonna get what? A monster. You should. I'll judge you, but you should. Bye, Ethan. Say hi to the vlog. You should actually wave. If you get an energy drink, I'm going to laugh at you. It's not good for you. And it's a lot of sugar and caffeine. Listen to me talking about sugar and caffeine as if I don't drink coffee, as if it's like water. But, anyways. Okay, see you later, mate. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days. Yeah. All I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in a better day. Okay, with me, no apologies. It's time to get to work. Get to work. We're making, what are we making? We're making stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that ASMR. <laughs> it's, it's a brand new um, topping board. Look at the blunt knife. I'm taking a pipe. I'm going to glass in here. Ooh, Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. But we're not going to be with cavemen on the um. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll give an English coffee instead of having it. Onions, garlic, and then butternut. There should also be carrots. Carrots. Carrots as well. Butternut, celery, broccoli, red carrots. I got you. So you can actually just baby marrows, um, red peppers. So, Victoria, what 
we're drinking Friday Pro, um, ginger, uh, onion, carrots, butternut, celery, um, broccoli, cabbage, baby marrows, red peppers, spring onions. Okay, just take it with the front paper. Okay, let's go. Just got back from our market, so we got all of our stir fry ingredients ready. I don't know how we're gonna cook all of this in this pan, but I think we'll, uh, no, we'll we use that pan over there. That pan over there, sorry. Let's get it done. Onion, this onion here, it it's almost killed me. It, it almost killed me. Yeah. But it's actually the mushrooms and stuff. Um, it's like oil. Aaron's fruit salad. <laughs> uh, potato chips. Beetroot. Beetroot. <laughs> yeah, but this is sweet potato. Oh, that's sweet potato. <laughs> the pressure is getting worse. The pressure is getting worse, guys. It's getting worse. Yay! Oh, hey, hey, yo, my diet. I'm not on a diet, but I'll be on a diet just to have these chips. Sorry, sorry. The pressure is getting the worse. The pressure is getting worse. Cute. So cute. It's gonna bang with these chips, oh so let's God, go. Next person. Oh my God. It was June yesterday. You're next. <laughs> okay, steam it in. Steam, steam, steam. Guys, I've never heard of an arm day before, eh? Keep going, keep going. And we have developed. Okay. <laughs> and that's on period. Let's cook this, right? Yeah. Auntie's proud of ourselves. <laughs> Auntie's just proud of ourselves. So this is our eating. So that's the stuff we've had, right? So this is um, steamed broccoli, pumpkin fritters, potato chips, future chips, pasta with handmade um, fresh Dijon mustard mayonnaise, and fruit salad. Um, and there's our stir fry in the making. But I'm so much missing, so. According to the degree, I can. Whatever you mean. So it's only add other stuff, you know, the things that I left, and then we're gonna make the fun part. Cook that girl. Cook that girl. Oh, the food is so it's tempting me. This is exactly why I had oats this morning before I came here. When do we end, add the corn starch? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It looks so good, but it's so good. They pork we cooked. Like it looks, it looks. Okay, it looks not so much. Did you guys want broccoli? Oh, was it broccoli in your recipe originally? No, you guys. Yeah, there was everything. You know that the noodles <gasps> that can be and and chicken. Oh, Everyone really amazing. enjoyed this. They literally scraping the pan empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I will not do that. I will do this. I just like my friend did die. My friend died. Yeah, my friend died. So I couldn't vlog, unfortunately. But you'll have like a lot of content from the practical. Um, I don't even know if that's even allowed. But anyways, <laughs> it was one of this. Driving home with Ethan. <laughs> did she say? I don't know if it's in vlog or whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, let's look at the weather. Let's look at the weather. And then I'm supposed to take two tests and I'm supposed to like study in this weather. The temptation to nap is already like imminent and I'm not even home yet. Just, yeah, I'm pop. But we can't nap immediately. Like first I have to take the test. As soon as I think as soon as I submit that first MBS test, I'll probably see. Oh the glare from my glasses. I didn't realize this was sorry guys. But I think I should just explain a bit of what we did in the practical because I just like basically it's a con collage of videos and if you don't do to you will understand what's going on, so I'll kinda of explain what we're doing. But yeah, it was so much fun. And coffee. And none of my friends noticed that I got wearing a new hoodie, but it's fine. Even you, uh, who drives me every single day, it's fine. I did notice. You now. didn't notice. You noticed something I told you. I noticed when you're wearing the hoodie you're over down. your head. You're down. Like down bad. But even say anything. When I I'll, I'll stop buying new clothes. Actually, my mom bought me this. I'm so happy. Like that's my mom bought it for me. I'm so excited. I was so excited. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this is so sweet. And yeah, I wore it. You guys should just see my fit. I look so cute. But that's not important. Um, yeah, we're going home now. 
Hi guys, um, so I'm back home now. Um, about to take my test for MBS. I already did the quizzes. I had a practical quiz for chemistry and a quiz for practical quiz for MBS. Um, it's about 45 minutes long. Wish me luck. Um, yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. Like, I'm just so happy. Like, I'm so happy. My mom thinks that the surprise is like, wow. <laughs> you know? She said that the course actually looks very appetizing. I told it's kind of like spicy, but it actually was pretty appetizing. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, with the young rice or something savory, it actually, or something sweet as well, maybe. Mm, such a foodie. <laughs> Hey Royals, um, just finished up my test. It actually wasn't that bad, like, it actually was pretty good. Um, should I put you guys back up here? I'll put you guys back up there. <laughs> One second. MBS is a lot, hey, like, the other first years, we were literally leaving the Dietrich's building, and then the thing, these third years stop us, and they're like, how's foods, you know, how's cooking? And it's like, oh, it was so good, it was so fun, the sensory evaluation, you know, like, when we taste the food, and we, like, give it a rating for, like, um, appearance, texture, presentation, experience and um, the tenderness the flavor and then give it an overall evaluation for the food like how it tastes and stuff like that so since your evaluation so it's complain about you know like just adding those little details and being specific because some of the foods taste pretty similar because you like make the same things in different groups and it's all about like the variety and stuff so we're just telling you that they're like you know guys take it very seriously it's easy to have foods to slip right over you but most of all like in the ears right that anatomy and physiology to think that i wanted to do an anatomy and physiology degree before i decided to do tactics <laughs> I was out of my mind. Clearly, I wasn't the. There was no combos communicating. Clearly, because wow, what is this? Um, I don't know. Chemistry and MBS. Hi, they're fighting a good fight. Hey, they are going at it. They really want to see who is the better one. Who is going to be able to shoot Valerie down with more precision? It's really a competition. They are assassins. Like, yes, assassins creed. Period. Like they both wanna have me dead. Like have me gone. <laughs> so annoying. Um, other than that, guys, yo. <laughs> Next week, Monday, we have a chemistry tutorial, a chemistry due. I've got the Titanic's article due soon. Um, but also, I have, I have a chemistry test upcoming. I finished all my other assignments. Everything is submitted. Gone. Like, I'm tutor. Vroom. Lecturer. Vroom. Ikamva. Vroom. All gone. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh. I have nothing like due anytime soon so i'm really really excited about that um doesn't mean i'm not gonna work i'm probably get to work now i don't even <sighs> i think i understand the basics of mbs but the actual nitty-gritty like the things that we're actually supposed to know someone please cheat me someone actually sit down and be like valerie okay let's start with chapter one and we just go through it together because yo drink all the band as it needs ah guys 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 i'm down bad i am down Bad. Chemistry is so much better because at least we did like in you know, high school, but like at university level with the Casey constant girl. I'm talking about Bron Lowry theory. You know what? Bron said loudly, yay, 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 man. Nah, nah, man. Oh, okay, enough of this. Yeah, I'm kidding. Mm, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm as image closes vlog because I've been talking, but like, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm not gonna do anything now. I'm just gonna eat and be with my family. So please, see yourselves out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bye, guys. <laughs> Never come back again. Been three days on your back again, but I'm not your man. No, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like woe. Why be faithful when you got hoes? Drop top and off we go. We gon' pop off, that's how we roll. Your perfect face, not to mention your perfect body and leggings. The way you 